Hey patrol heads! Want to go unnoticed while having the time of your life behind the wheels? Then purchasing a sleeper car is your best option. In the automotive industry, sleeper cars are the best example of understatement. They are high-performance vehicles with unassuming exteriors, indecent bodywork, loud paint jobs, or oversized aerodynamic parts that are far from eye-catching. The sleeper car is a well-respected hot-rodding tradition that is still alive in garages and streets across America. Nothing beats pitting a home-built supercar slayer against ego-driven drivers and defeating them in their uber-expensive vehicles. While most sleeper cars are custom-built and start out as unwanted orphans, manufacturers will occasionally slot overpowered motors in ordinary everyday cars, transforming them into legitimate sleepers. Continue watching to see our picks for the coolest American sleeper cars of all time. Number 10. Chevrolet Cobalt S's the Cobalt was a solid, attractive car that was dependable and economical on gas. However, it was not known for its extreme acceleration. Because it is dressed in the same clothes as its standard sibling, the SF version of the car can easily pass as an average car for boring people. The Cobalt SS, like any Chevy with an SS badge, was unique. Chevy designed it with the tuner market in mind, starting with a supercharged coupe and progressing to salon, turbo, and naturally aspirated trims. The supercharged and turbo variants were quick off the line and could compete with Mustangs. True to Chevy's intentions, the Copal S became popular in the tuning scene and even appeared in several Need for Speed games. Number 9. Ford Taurus SO Throughout its three decades of production, the Ford Taurus was just another everyday car that drew little attention from onlookers. These largely unassuming looks, combined with competitive levels of power in an AWD platform, helped make the Taurus SO trim a truly affordable sleeper in stock form. Due to its ability to blend in well and the sufficient 365 HP and 350 pound-feet of torque produced by a 3.5-liter twin-turbo V6 engine, the SA Show is used as an undercover vehicle. Additionally, tuning aficionados have discovered that the SA Show is very open to modifications that increase power. Number 8 GMC Typhoon the GMC Typhoon was a modest SUV until you opened the hood and discovered the twin-turbo 4.3-liter V6 engine that transformed it into one of the craziest sleepers ever built. The seemingly boring SUV could accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 5.3 seconds thanks to 280 HP and 350 pound-feet of torque. It was faster off the line than favorite performance sports cars like the Ferrari 348 TS or the Nissan 300 ZX. While car enthusiasts will recognize the Typhoon in a crowd, many people will dismiss it as just another SUV until they try to outrun it in a straight line. Number 7. 1987 Buick GNX To this day, the Buick Grand National is regarded as an icon of American automotive engineering. It was a highway terror built from an 80s, one Tobe Sport seat in. What was meant to beat the Corvette ended up smoking Ferraris and Porsches at the time. The car had humble beginnings in auto racing and received a significant boost in its final form with the 1987 model. The Buick GNX accelerated from 0 60 miles per hour in 4.7 seconds thanks to its 276 HP and 360 pound-feet of torque. This was supercar territory in 1987. Number 6. Mercury Marauder Mercury gave the American automotive market some of the classiest cars in its over five decades of operation, such as the 1950 Mercury 8, 1964 Comet Cyclone, and 1969 Cougar Eliminator. Then, in their final years, they produced the Mercury Maraud, which was probably the outfit's last decent vehicle. It was a low-key, unassuming Satan that was far more powerful than it appeared. It was designed by Mercury to be efficient, practical, and dependable. That, combined with plenty of power from its 4.6-liter V8 engine, led to its adoption by American police forces. It was also quite flexible for its size and power. Number 5. Dodge Magnum Sardate Station wagons are among the best sleepers since they are primarily geared toward carrying cargo and have a large cargo space that is accessible by a fifth door. Although the standard Dodge Magnum passed the standard wagon test, its more potent SRT8 sibling was a very different animal. The only visual improvements were larger wheels, a hood scoop, and a few SRT emblems, so they weren't very noticeable. But it has a Hemley V8 engine in the back that turned it into a sleeper wagon. The SRT8 was a fascinating car that you could use to smoke sports cars without attracting unwanted attention by enhancing the performance of the Magnum's practicality. Number 4. 2004 Chrysler 300M Most people may not find this car appealing, making it one of the most dubious sleepers ever built in America.
When the Chrysler 300M first entered the full-size luxury set-in market, many performance-oriented buyers dismissed it. But then its 255 HP V6 engine proved to be a monster, allowing its bulky body to get up and go without hesitation. In comparison to other luxury cars in its class, the 300M is both powerful and fuel-efficient, making it an interesting and enjoyable daily driver. Number 3. Chevrolet SS the now discontinued Chevy SS Satan had an unremarkable design and a bland interior, which allowed it to blend in well. People who haven't driven it are unaware that it was a real performance monster. Some owners even referred to it as a muscle vehicle because of how it drove. It left the Chevy factories equipped with a supercharged 6.2-liter LS3 engine that generated more than 415 horsepower and 415 pound-feet of torque, allowing it to pass muster as a legitimate sleeper vehicle. The Chevy SS Satan had enough power to compete with and destroy many expensive sports cars. Number 2. Ford Flex EcoBoost The Ford Flex EcoBoost is the most ridiculous sleeper to roll out of Ford's factories in recent times, thanks to its boxy shape. Few people are drawn to the box of an SUV, and even fewer consider it to be more of a performance vehicle than a boring commuting tool. The Flex EcoBoost, on the other hand, gets a lot of power from a twin-turbocharged 3.5-liter V6 engine that produces 365 HP. If you thought your body weight would prevent these numbers from making a difference, you were mistaken. The Flex can accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in less than 6.2 seconds. Number 1. Cadillac CTS-V Although the Cadillac CTS-V shares the same exterior design as the standard CTS, it is essentially a Corvette Z06 under the hood, thanks to their supercharged V8 engines, which produce 640 horsepower. A sleeper sit-in will keep up with the majority of supercars without breaking a sweat or drawing attention if you combine an electronic limited slip differential with a responsive 8-speed automatic transmission that sends all power to the rear wheels. The CTS-V is a four-door luxury sedan disguised as a muscle car. Additionally, it is a beautifully designed car that provides a pleasurable and stress-free driving experience when you are not trying to set new straight-line performance records.